In this video I'll demonstrate using the voltage controlled switch in a capacitor charge and discharge circuit. I'll start with a new circuit and I'll start building circuit by adding components. First of all add a voltage source and a few other components such as a resistor. I'm going to rotate the resistor with the control R feature. and I'm going to add a capacitor and another resistor I'll then add a voltage controlled switch that's going to be under the component section voltage controlled switch is SW I'll add that. I'm going to add that in this area here. I need to rotate that 270 degrees and line it up and I'll insert it right there. So these will be the components of the circuit first of all. Let's wire them together. and insert a ground node I can now put in component values for the voltage source I'm going to create a unit step voltage source I'll use the pulse function for that and so I'll go to the advanced options on the voltage source and select pulse with an initial value of 0 and a V on value of 20. I'll leave all the rest of the parameters 0 so that will give a unit step voltage source of 20 volts that will occur at T equals 0. I'm going to assign a 10 kilo ohm value to resistor 1. I'm going to assign a 1 microfarad value to the capacitor and I'll assign a 2 kilo ohm resistor value to resistor 2. I now need to define when the switch actually operates. The switch is a voltage controlled switch you can see with the two positive and negative terminals here. I'm going to go ahead and ground the negative terminal here and then I'm going to put a voltage source in order to activate the switch. I'll wire that into the switch and I'm going to use the pulse function in order to control when the switch actually activates. I'll do advanced and then the pulse function I'm going to have an initial value of negative 1 and a final value or a V on value of 1 and my time delay in this case will be 5 milliseconds I can move my pulse value here around I'll select the drag option and drag that pulse value down here just to get it out of the way. So now I have a circuit where the initial voltage source is going to pulse to 20 volts at T equals 0. That will charge the capacitor up and then at T equals 5 milliseconds this switch will activate and uh, it will introduce the 2 kilo ohm resistor into the circuit at this point I need to declare a model for this switch otherwise uh, SPICE will complain when you try to simulate it without a model statement. The simplest way to accomplish this is go to the edit function and select SPICE directive and here 
you can put a dot model command and what this will do uh, the way I've defined this is a uh, dot model SW refers to the SW of the that is designating the switch itself and then SW over here with the open and close parentheses is actually the default model for uh, SPICE for the switch and I can place that directive down here below the circuit and now I can do a simulation I need to specify how long I want the simulation to run I'm going to run this simulation for 15 milliseconds and then I can put my voltage probe right on the positive terminal of the capacitor and I see the capacitor charging from 0 volts does not charge to 20 volts because it this has a this charging circuit has a time constant of 10 milliseconds and I'm only allowing it to charge for 5 milliseconds and it charges about to 8 volts and then you can see the 2 kilo ohm resistor actually switches in and causes the capacitor to discharge down to a voltage level of somewhere around about 3.2 volts. We can also introduce the uh, voltage across the source that's controlling the switch. We add that in as a second voltage on the, uh, on the graph at the top. You can change colors of the traces on the graph by right clicking on the selection and change that to a red color and you can do several things like that if you're uh, wanting to reformat your graph. We can now easily extend the charging time of the capacitor. Uh, we can right click on the voltage source that's controlling the switch and change that to let's say 10 milliseconds. OK that and re-simulate. Now what you'll notice here if, if we look at the blue trace here for the switch the way this switch is activated is if the voltage is below zero the switch is open. When the voltage goes above zero the switch now closes and so that closes the switch and causes the 2 kilo ohm resistor to be introduced into the circuit. This is the default uh, model for the switch. It has a threshold voltage of zero volts. You can actually change some of the parameters on the switch itself if they don't suit you, although most of the, uh, most of the parameters work pretty well for most circuits you'll be using. Most of the default parameters do work well. If you want to look at the default parameters, you can use the Help menu open up help topics click on LT spice and circuit elements and you can select the voltage controlled switch and this gives you the uh, model parameters for the voltage controlled switch you can see threshold voltage is zero you can select a hysteresis voltage which basically uh, just changes the function of the switch as to when it turns on and when it turns off. Uh, by default the on resistance is 1 ohm. Uh, you can change that to a lower value if you would like. Let's look at that. I can right click on the model statement here and if I want to change the on resistance to a lower value I just type R on equals to and in this case let's say one milliohm and so that'll change that parameter model value right there it's not going to make a significant change to the circuit that we have right now but we can still re simulate and get our results